The journey from Oakland to Jackson, the county seat of Amador County, situated in the heart of the Motherlode, a gateway to the gold country mining claims filed by the prospectors of a bygone era, the drive taking about two hours. Gary recognized the stops at the real estate office at Martell, a small hamlet on Highway 88 just before descending into Jackson, were more than coincidental. The family having tentatively come to an agreement on a piece of property in a recently opened section of real estate, 16 miles east of Jackson on 88, the highway through Kit Carson Pass. Named after the icon of Western history. The ensuing journey east, with its rising elevation and the majestic tree-shrouded Sierras painting a picture. The roads winding travel making the two-lane highway seemed longer than 16 miles. Their destination culminating at what the team considered a wide spot in the road the town of Pioneer and from all appearances, the village looked to be nothing but a way stop for those traveling to and fro from the high country of the Sierra Nevada. The roadside business encompassing a curio shop, small general store, a tire shop on one side of the highway, and on the other side the tired remains of the old Pioneer Station, now an adult beverage dispensing establishment in a small U.S. post office. The site the youth's parents acquired was about three miles from the stagecoach stop of a town, in a secluded section bordering on what was said to be federal land property. The family meeting a representative of the realty company, Gary watching as the real estate agent paced off the property boundary, observing as the man journeyed over the ground-covered blanket of pine needles, residue from years of shedding the agent marking trees to designate the property line. The observant teen pondering a question, when a professional survey was performed, would the results be within reason of the tree markings? He wasn't alone with his questioning, his dad getting assurance from the agent that he had done this before, and that his markings would pretty much hold true. Gary very much aware of his dad's dream and long-time desire to build a cabin retreat away from the bustle of city life, and especially the throes of its populace. Standing before his newfound surroundings, the young man inhaled the ambience of the secluded area, the madrone, pines, red cedar, and Douglas fir tall sentinels all standing watch over their domain. He perceived the gold country lore, knew of the history the past invasion, the many who had humbled themselves beneath the wilderness with its forest canopy. The youth was ready to renew the effort of those before him, and search out its hidden treasure. The introductory weekend finding the family spending the night in Pine Grove, returning in the morning for an agenda of exploration and discovery during this initial visit. Upon discovering what appeared to be a widened path or road nearby, Following it down they came upon the remains of past mining sites and a most needed treasure, a free flowing water source just a quarter mile away. A spring running out of an old abandoned mine on the side of the hill. Someone in the past having positioned a pipe into the flowing water, the pipe extending out over the mine's tailings and below. A person could kneel beneath the available flowing water exiting the pipe. A recently purchased 1941 Chevy pickup soon found added responsibility with its new family. It wasn't a street attractive pickup, but a working truck with a heavy duty bed and a four speed non synchromesh transmission, giving it stature in transporting material to the Sierra site. During a project, they needed some additional material, deciding to check out a small lumber yard at West Point, some 20 miles distance. Just after entering the turnoff on State Highway 26, Gary's dad halted the pickup on the side of the road, getting out, walking around to the passenger side, motioning for the youth to slide over. Gary somewhat perplexed, couldn't believe what was verbally delivered next, it's your turn to drive. The youth was silent, for the first time in his life he didn't know what to say. Gary slid across the seat posturing himself behind the steering wheel, his father starting to explaining the how to release the clutch and shift the gears, 
Gary never heard a word. He knew the shifting pattern and how to double clutch when shifting gears in a non synchromesh Having been a student of observation for years, his truck driving dad being the visual instructor. Easing the clutch out, the movement began, and with it so did his driving experience, his dad nodding an approval. With his first time driving experience under his belt, it would be time for a learner's permit. The youth soon recognizing an imposing responsibility comes with being in the driver's seat. And that treasures come in many forms.